In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply or create custom Roblox caches, which can, for example, change animations or textures and a lot of other stuff. Now to download this program, just go to the GitHub which is linked in the description. And to install, click on code right here and click download zip. It will now open up a new folder. Click extract all and extract. Now close the old folder and inside of the new folder. Open this up and double click our cm.py. The program is now opened up and you can now, for example, clear the HTTP folder. This will remove all the custom changes you've made. Now to apply presets, click on presets up here. Click on the presets you want to apply and click apply. Now click OK. And if we now open up Roblox and join a game, you can see our torso and head is missing. Meaning in most games, you can pretty much now clip through anything you want. Now this does not work in every game. As some games have custom collision boxes or custom animations. Or for example, have the camera linked to your head, which would then make your camera very far away, which would make it pretty much unplayable. Now to get rid of this custom animation, just leave the game, open up the program again and click clear HTTP folder. Click yes, click OK. And if you can see if you now join back into the game, we are back to normal and have normal collisions again. Now the other preset, this is our Sixer Glide. Just click Apply and OK again. And if you now join into a game, you can now see that if we stand still and jump, we go up into the sky, you can now walk around again. As you can see, we are now flying. The other players will see your avatar up here as well. If you equip a gear, you can, for example, Stop it and go back to the ground. And if you jump while walking, you can actually do a quick dash of some sorts, which would be useful for quick transportation. But this pretty much only works on flat ground. As you can see right here, you can also clip using this. You can clip through walls, for example, and a lot of other cool stuff. Now if you want to create custom animations, what you are going to do is first of all, open up Roblox Studio. Now once you are in Roblox Studio, click Create New Experience. And now drag in the other file. I have linked in the description. And just drag it into Roblox Studio. Now you can place it anywhere you want. And now click on Avatar on the top. And click on Animation Editor. Now click on the Avatar and click OK. Now it has moved to the left a bit. So just click on the buttons down here and click Delete. And now it's back to normal. So now you can just create a custom animation. Just click Save and Publish to Roblox. Click Save and copy the ID right here. This is very important. Now go to Replicated Storage. Type an animation and an animation ID. Paste in the value we've just copied. Now go up to the avatar right here. And open up play animation. And just put an animation right here. Now what you are going to do is just click play.
And now, we are going to just go into the video description again and copy this text of right here and paste it in right here to open this folder up. Now inside of this folder, it is where all the caches get cached. So just click refresh click on the newest cache. Press E to interact and look for the newest cache. There will be two new caches. Select the one that is not one kilobyte. Copy it and paste it into your downloads folder. Now you can press pause again. And if we now open up the program again, we can now click create cache. Now select the file we have just copied. And it will now put this right here. You can select one of these. These are just the hashes for. Well, all the things that it says right here. I'm just gonna replace it with the R6 walk. Select the display name and click OK. Now if we go back into Roblox. And first click on the cache and click apply. If you now go back into a Roblox game, you can see if we now walk. Our custom R6 animation will play. It will obviously only play while in the R6. Walk animation. Because that is the animation we replaced. If we now leave we can also, for example, try modifying textures for this. You will need to open up blocks dump. Just open up blocks dump. Now click on the game. Wait for everything to load in. Go back into block stump and put Y and enter. Now join the game. Okay, everything has loaded in now. And I'm going to want to replace this texture right here. So just open up block stump again and close it. Go back into the blocks down folder. And there will be a new folder called Assets. Open it up and click on the Texture tab. And look for the file you want to replace. Now this is the file we want to replace. But we want to replace it with. Let's say this file right here. So first copy the name of the. The name of the file that you want to replace it with. Go back into the HTTP folder. Now just take the name of the file you want to replace it with. Paste it in right here. And now copy this to your downloads folder. For example again. So now, we're going to take the name of this file that we want to get replaced. Go back into the program, click Create Cache. Select the file that we just copied. Click Input Custom Hash, put it right here. Click Enter. Now put a name again. And click OK. Now, we will have replaced this image with this image. So just click leave. Make sure to apply and if we now rejoin, we will see that the image has been changed. And as you can see, the image has successfully been replaced. And that's pretty much it on all the other things like meshes and translations. And pretty much everything that gets locked. Everything has the same process. It's just creating the cache and then applying. And that's pretty much it. 
If you have any questions, need help for anything, or want to share your own caches, you can join the Discord server in the video description. Thanks for watching.